Hi, my name is Just Omomo Ibe and my entrepreneurship journey spans almost two decades. I can tell you categorically that there is a specific mindset required for you to carve a path as far as the African climb is concerned. And that mindset is you always have to see a way in everything. See solutions everywhere. Because once you train your mind to always see solutions in problems, what you do is you are visualizing the customers that exist that need those problems. That way, the visualization helps you produce passion that helps you power through the entire process of finding the problem, creating the solution, and taking it to market. So you see that mindset of there has to be a way is required for every African entrepreneur. And of course, whether you want to do business just within this continent and in the diaspora. And so it is necessary that I define the three kinds of entrepreneurs that exist. So that you pick what category you fall into. Irrespective of the category you fall into, we need you. There are traders, those who are focused on buying and selling. When you go to the average African market, so if you are in Nigeria, West Africa, Oyingo is a popular market in Lagos, Nigeria. There are people who have been at one spot for 20 years, 30 years. They are buying and selling the exact same kind of product, right? And they probably haven't thought of scale. That product has delivered for them results that has probably helped them build houses. So those are traders. They are just buying and selling the everyday commodity that we need. The second stage is entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs see solution, see problems, they create solution for it, and they get their money for the solution, for the solution they have created. These guys are so important because every day they find problems and so they are taking away the problems in our society, turning it into solutions, thus creating an ecosystem that consistently powers demand and supply. They are good. We need them. Now, the biggest part is the visionary entrepreneurs. These guys not only see problems and create solutions, they devote their life to making sure a particular problem is annihilated from the face of this continent. If you are listening to me today, visionary entrepreneurs, we need so many more of you to move from just being traders and entrepreneurs into visionary entrepreneurship. Because visionary business leaders are those who are going to be able to not only build their business, but be involved in other indices that make us thrive as a people. Be able to have conversations with the different political stakeholders so that we can create thriving and enabling environment for our businesses to be able to grow. And so, irrespective of the cater you fall into as an entrepreneur, we need all three of you. But I would rather that so many of you move very quickly to the visionary part of entrepreneurship. And so for every entrepreneur, you must possess a tenacious character. You need tenacity to be able to do business in this climb. Of course, maybe in any climb in the world, but because I'm speaking with reference to Africa, tenacity would help you move from looking at those obstacles as what should bring you down, but you should look at them as things that are vehicles to move into the next phase of the results that you produce in your business. And then finally, I believe that if you are an entrepreneur who wants to be successful, make sure you focus on this particular mindset. I bring impeccable value and passion to the table. You have to say that every day to yourself. I bring impeccable value and passion to the table. And the combination of my impeccable value and passion will be able to help me contribute at my best wherever I find myself so that I not only make my customers happy, I'm also doing acti something actively to move our economy forward and of course, cumulatively our collective GDP as a continent. I hope that this has been very helpful for somebody who is listening. Feel free to share this with as many entrepreneurs as possible because I want you to challenge them to move from maybe just trading and entrepreneurship to visionary entrepreneurship so that as many more problem solvers would begin to arise and collectively we can do something great in the next two decades or maybe three decades or maybe five decades in this continent. Thank you so much for listening.